But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. For to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. By contrast, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the Spirit is life and peace. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. The mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the Spirit is life and peace. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So letting your sinful nature control your mind leads to death. But letting the Spirit control your mind leads to life and peace. But what happens when we live God's way? He brings gifts into our lives much the same way that fruit appears in an orchard. Things like affection for others, exuberance about life, serenity. We develop a willingness to stick with things, a sense of compassion in the heart, and a conviction that a basic holiness permeates things and people. We find ourselves involved in loyal commitments, not needing to force our way in life, able to marshal and direct our energies wisely. Those who trust God's action in them find that God's Spirit is in them, living and breathing God. Obsession with self in these matters is a dead end. Attention to God leads us out into the open into a spacious, free life.